Hello guys, welcome to our first C++ OpenGL programming tutorial. So here we need to introduce ourselves to OpenGL. What is OpenGL? So first thing, before starting our journey, we should first define what OpenGL actually is. OpenGL is mainly considered an API that provide us with a large set of function that we can use to manipulate graphic and images however OpenGL by itself is not an API but merely a specification developed and maintained by Chrono Group the OpenGL specification specify exactly what the result output of each function should be and how it should perform. It is then up to the developer implementing this specification to come up with a solution of how this function should operate. Since the OpenGL specification does not give us implementation details, the actual developed version of OpenGL are allowed to have different implementation as long as their result comply with the specification and are do the same for the user so the people developing the actual OpenGL library are usually the graphic card manufacturers each graphic card that comes that card you buy supports specific version of OpenGL which are the version of OpenGL developed specifically for that card. When using an Apple system, the OpenGL library is maintained by Apple themselves and under Linux, there exists a combination of graphic suppliers version and hobbyist adaptation of Bing library. This also means that OpenG whenever OpenGL is showing red behavior that is sh that it should not this is mostly likely the fault of graphic card manufacturers. Since most implementations are built by the graphic card manufacturers, whenever there is a bug in the implementation, this is usually solved by updating your, updating your video card driver. Those drivers include the newest version of OpenGL that you that your card support this is one of the reasons why it's always advised to occasionally update your graphic driver so what are you waiting for update your graphic driver chronos public so car profile and versus immediate mode in the old days using opengl means developing an immediate mode offer reference to as fixed function pipeline which was an easy to use method for drawing graphic most of the functionality of OpenGL was hiding in the library and developers did not have much freedom at how OpenGL does its calculation developers eventually got hungry for more so they make much better listen when using OpenGL core profile OpenGL forced us to use modern practice whenever we try to use one of the OpenGL deprecated function OpenGL raise an error and stop drawing um so we can go okay so and in the next video I'm gonna teach you we're gonna start creating a window so we have an extension here a great feature of OpenGL is the support of extension whenever a graphic company comes up with a new technique or a new large optimization for rendering this is often found in an extension implemented in the driver if the hardware and application one on supports such an extension the developer can use the functionality provided by the Extension for more advance of efficient graphic. OpenGL is a state machine. So, in the next video, we're gonna talk about creating our. Uh,